what is so disgusting in my life is for me to be forced to put up with a child molester. I mean, how many? Constantly. I mean, if I never had kids, I wouldn't have a problem. Unfortunately, that's where my kids are at. And where I'm at, they don't do anything about them. A gentleman walked me to the counselor office, and he knew several, too, in my town. So he was a, a total comfort. Yeah. There's so many. And basically, nothing is done anywhere. I mean, there's too many of them, first off. And it's just too hard to prove, and, you know, people don't want to believe that, you know, a relative or any, especially a caregiver, you know, did that. They want to just, you know, throw it in, just forget about it. Just, they don't want to deal with it. They can't deal with it. Wow, they can't deal with it. Why well, am I forced to put up with, you know, an insane narcissist? Constantly telling me that I sexually harmed a child on a diaper changing table like a thousand, thousand, thousand times. Like constantly, constantly. You better repent. You better repent. You better repent. You, I saw you. I saw you. I saw you. Well, okay. Roughly 23 years ago. No, women were not. Um, sorry. Um, 25 years ago, this is what you saw, okay? Well, if that were true, then why didn't you do anything about it? If that were, you know, if that that's the awful truth, why did you even let it happen? How could a... You know, how could you really watch me do that and allow it to happen? No. Crazy nut, insane narcissist. Well, so, I saw you. You better repent of raping. You raped. You better repent. You better, re you better repent. Yeah, you're going, you better repent. I, you better repent. I saw you. I saw you raping a child. I saw you raping your child. I saw you. I saw you. I saw you. Just constant. Yeah, that would make anyone go insane. And these, this is the insane, extremely mentally ill people that I had to be forced to put up with in my little town. Now, most people like, well, some people, I don't know. No, about what do I know? Some people like high quality Susan Chappelle when she was alive in 2010. She was high quality. I ain't had to put up with any of this nonsense of complete total hell. Now, totally high high quality person. Never ever talk about the negative. Try to. Do, you away with the negative. So sweet and kind to me. So why, asking me why she knows so many negative stories? Well, maybe, maybe in 2010 I should have went to counseling to try to, you know, she didn't want to hear any more negative stories. Well, that's horrible that, you know, these things actually happen. And yeah, you should go to see counseling. Well, why didn't anyone help me go to see counseling? Like she sweetly suggested. She's a good person. High quality. High quality. Not hell. You know, there's heaven on this earth. And then, then there's insane narcissists. You. You raped your child. I know you did. I know, I know. And then there's... Oh, honey, I... Can't believe all these bad things. You know, you're falsely accused by some nut. Now, why didn't he call the... Why wouldn't he call the police if that really happened? Then, you know, there's something wrong with him. 
has to be something wrong with him if, you know, this is the only thing that he keeps repeating. And it's a, he should be locked up. Who is this person? Could you please tell me? This would be Susan Chappelle. That's what she would say to me. There's two people in this world. There's extremely insane, I, I'm sorry, extremely insane angry people with temper tantrums. And then there's normal people who never have a temper tantrum, never get angry. They're just normal. And Susan Chappelle was like, the most normal person I ever met besides my sons that I was allowed to see a little bit. I just knew insane people. What, what am I supposed to do about it? You know, I, I, that's all I knew. It's not my fault I knew the craziest people on earth. It's not.